Chief here. Hey, what's up, Sam? Chief, what's going on? Sam? When's the last time I asked Cordy to get oil for this damn thing? Um, uh, last Wednesday. Would you be kind enough to go outside and remind him what day it is today? Well, uh, how about the prisoner here? Don't you worry about him. Got a name, boy? Virgil Tibbs. Virgil. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any trouble, are we, Virgil? No trouble at all. Oh, you can go now, Sam. Yes, sir. What'd you hit him with? Hit whom? Whom? Boom, what are you, you a northern boy? What's a northern boy like you doing all the way down here? I was waiting for the train. But now there ain't no trains this time of morning. Tuesdays only, 4.05 to Memphis. You say? Well, <laughs> all right, you say right. a nice, clean, safe town here. A town where a man can sneeze and not get his brains beat out. You follow me? Yes. Why don't you tell me how you killed Mr. Colbert and I promise you, you're gonna feel a whole lot better. Not now! visiting my mother. I came in on the 1235 from Brownsville. I was waiting to go out on the 405. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, you just killed yourself a white man, just about the most important white man we got around here, and picked yourself up a couple of hundred dollars. I earned that money ten hours a day, seven days a week. Colored can't earn that kind of money, boy. Hell, that's more than I make in a month. Now, where did you earn it? Philadelphia. Mississippi? Pennsylvania. Now, just what do you do up there in little old Pennsylvania, earn that kind of money? I'm a police officer. man before you brought him in? No, sir. Do you mind taking a look at that? Yeah. 
Yeah! Oh, yeah! All right, I'll check on this wise city boy from Philadelphia. You take him outside and hold him. Yes, sir. May I suggest that you call my chief rather than send a wire or anything? I mean, it would be quicker, and I'll pay for the call. <laughs> Do you hear him say he paid for the call? How much did they pay you to do their police work? $162.39 per week. $162.39 a week. Well, boy, you take him outside, Wood, but treat him easy because a man that makes $162.39 a week, man, we do not want to ruffle him. No, sir. <laughs> Courtney, would you try and get me long distance? Police business, honey. Chief's on the line. No, oh, no, sir, hey, boy. He catch you listening, he'll run your butt around the block. You don't panic me now. Ah, oh, Charlie, you got the picture of the dead man there, huh? Sure do. I got him top, bottom, side, well, you name it. Good, I'll take him, son. Well, I won't give him to the chief. I said I'd take him, Charlie. Like he tells you, Charlie. Well, somebody owes me some money for those. I, I, I had to buy paper and film and developing. Yeah, well, that's all right, Charlie. You just build the apartment, everything you take care of. I don't mind. Sure looks bad. May I see the man I'm supposed to have killed? Sure, I don't know why not. Hey, Sam, he's finished talking. Here's a photo of the dead man, Chief. Okay. I've got your Chief on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Sorry to have gotten you involved in this. I, I really had no choice. Mm, yes. Oh, you can't be serious, sir. I mean, even if I could be of some help, they wouldn't want it. No, sir, I, I'm not prejudiced. Yes, sir, I, I'm a police officer, and they're police officers, but... Hello, Luce Gillespie. Yes, sir. Yep. Well, uh, you don't say. He's your number one homicide expert. Well, my, my, my. Well, I don't think we need any help, though. I think we can wrap this thing up ourselves. Yes, sir. But I, I do want to thank you for offering me such a powerful piece of manpower as Virgil Tibbs. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye now. It's all there. We paid for the phone call ourselves. Well, now, you are, the, you are the number one homicide expert. That's right. Boy, I bet you get to look at a lot of dead bodies, don't you? Lots. Well? Well, what? Well, I, no, I just thought maybe, uh, maybe you wouldn't mind taking a look at this one. No, thanks. Why not, expert? Because I've got a train to catch. Oh, wait a minute. That train don't leave to 12 o'clock noon. Look, they pay you $162.39 a week just to look at bodies. Why can't you look at this one? Why can't you look at it for yourself? Because I'm not an expert. Officer. 